Today I'm going to show you guys when you should choose cast iron over grill grates. And we're going to be cooking up a delicious picanha steak. We got an all new website and it's filled with our recipes and all of our techniques. And today we're going to be cooking up our picanha. Picanhas are freaking awesome and especially this one. This is an Australian grain fed picanha with a lot of intramuscular fat and you guys hear me say it all the time. It's basically like a mantra. But it matters because it's flavor. Especially when you want your picanha to taste really good and since we are cooking them as individual steaks. Look at it, it's a beauty. But it still needs a little bit of work. We're going to take off that silver skin and trim off some of the fat. Once it's all cleaned up and looking pretty, we can start cutting it into steaks. For this experiment, I'm going to cut it with the grain. Just to make sure that once we grilled it and we're going to slice it, we're going to be cutting against the grain. These are some good looking steaks. I'm a big believer of getting a good crust on your steak. You got the beef flavor from the steak. You got the cuisson, the tenderness, but the crust is equally important as all the rest. So that's why you gotta work on it. And that's why I wanna show you guys the difference between a cast iron griddle and a grill grate. So let's fire up the grill. We had our Big Joe set up with a cast iron half moon and some grill grates. And these steaks are rocking the show. Look at them go. And there we have it, the end result. Oh man, I love grilling like that. Flame shooting everywhere, all the excitement. But the grilling is just one part of it because the end result counts as well. Yes, it does. This is our cast iron version. It's got that beautiful crust. It's a little dark, but underneath that dark, there's that nice brown Maillard effect. It's shrunken down in size. It's it gotten real compact, but it looks good. It, you know, I just want to eat it. I just, I just want to bite into it. And if you look at the grill grate version, you can see clearly see those grill marks. They are heavy, they're deep, and that's why you get when you have a nice grill grate that has a lot of thick bars. And in this case, we're using stainless steel. And let me tell you, it did its job. Both of the fat caps rendered down, but the one that was on the grill grate, it rendered down just that little bit more. It's just a little bit more crunchy. That's the plus. But the downside is that the fat burned and I got like a little, I don't know, it's like a little layer of burned fat. And and that's a little bit bitter. That's not what I'm looking for. But you can't escape that when you're grilling over direct heat with a grill grid. So you gotta go indirect or you gotta set up some technique, but you're gonna be messing around with flames. You're gonna have that fat from the steak dripping down, burning up, and then catching on back onto your steak. So that's something that you gotta deal with. On the other hand, you do get grill marks and you do get other stuff. So there's some pluses and there's some minuses. Which one do I prefer? Well, before we get into that, I want to do one more option. This is our last contender, a soapstone. It's thick, it's heavy, and it produces a beautiful crust. We'll grill up our steak just like we did on that grill grate and that cast iron half moon until we got a beautiful crust. Then we'll let it rest with a little bit of salt. And if you are thinking this big stone is not getting as hot as our cast iron half moon, guess again. <laughs> These steaks look freaking awesome and I want to bite into them. But we can't, I gotta let them rest. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna whip up a quick side dish. We'll pour on a little bit of olive oil on our soapstone, add some pre-cooked potatoes, fry them up real quick with a little bit of barbecue rub, add some onion and bell pepper rings to the mix. Fry it all up until it's got a beautiful crust. Mix it all together and put some cheese on. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Three steaks and potatoes. No, they, they, they all look beautiful and I must say, I, I, I'm being spoiled when I say it, but this looks maybe 
the most appetizing. It's not about being vegan. It, this has nothing to do with... There's cheese on it. I think I'm going to start with the grill grate. Mm. Mm. Oh, awesome steak. Mm. There's just too much bitterness. Mm. I, I don't I don't like this. This is like, for me, this is too much bitterness. Immediately, a lot of charcoal flavor, a lot of char. The steak itself, it's a great steak. Maybe too heavy, but I can't decide yet. The picanha steak is freaking awesome. It's super, super tender. Look, you can just take one and it just tears up like nothing. Maybe because the, the fat is too too burnt because of the, 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 the big flames. The problem here is like all the fat dripping down into the fire, catching flames and all of the smoke going back up. Basically, I'm eating burned oil here. This is not good. Can you solve that and still cook a, a steak on a grill grate? Yes, you can. But you gotta be more careful. You gotta have a direct, indirect side. So if the flames flare up, you move it a little bit away from the fire. Uh, a little bit more distance between the grill grate and the charcoal helps. All that kind of stuff. But it's it's work. And, you know, it's just not perfect. Okay, cast iron. Looking forward to this one. It looks too perfect. A little bit less crust. Well, no, not less. Different. I think it's different. Oh. Mm. oh. That is good. No more bitterness. This is the one. And in return, you get much more of the flavor. How do you know? You haven't tasted all Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Of course, there's some bitterness there because you're going to almost all the way black for that crust. Everything that the grill weight lost in flavor because of the high flames, I think the cast iron keeps it. But it definitely is not dominating the steak. It's just there. It's just like a like a compliment. Come take another piece because uh, yeah, I'm not sure. And the, the most important thing is you got a beautiful crust, beautiful meal artifact. It's my job. This is how I like my steak. It keeps the beef flavor intact more than, than the grill grate. This is it. Soapstone. Now let's try that soapstone. It looks the best out of all three. The crust is quite similar to, to the cast iron. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. That's a tough one. Tastes like soap. No, just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. Don't worry, don't worry. This is, this is hard. I, I believe that the soap and the cast iron, they almost identical. No, the meat is not tough. The challenge is tough. There is something different about it. Does the soap zone defeat the cast iron? I'm going to have another cast iron just as a reference. It's not flavor wise. People aren't worried about me that I'm getting too skinny. I, I believe it's more delicate. I love it. I love both things. The crust is a little bit less. Which one is better? I'm not sure. I can't taste the difference. I'm going to have to say cast iron. I'm agreeing with Morrison here. There's just something about cast iron. It's unbeatable. It responds quickly to the heat. At the same time, it retains a lot of heat. So you got the best of both worlds. And then you have the separation between the charcoal so you don't have flames coming from the fat. What more do you want? You just need a cast iron steak. On that note, let's go vegan. So now the most important part, potatoes. Mm. Oh my God. This is simplicity at its best. Mm. Forget about the steak. So simple, so easy to make, so tasty, basic flavors. If you just want to quietly check on how we cooked all of this, you can find it on our website, www.pitmasterx.com. And we have all kinds of beautiful recipes there. So definitely check it out. The link is down below in the video description. Big thank you to our patrons and the YouTube members. You guys freaking rock. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk. And keep on grilling on grill grates or cast iron. Or soapstone. Or soapstone. Whatever you want. Or on www.pitmasterx.com. So if, if, if you eat that, Yes? No, 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 it's like a package deal. Mm. Mm. Cheese. That steak. Mm. 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 Why is... Why is cooked onion so good? I don't know. Baked onion. Baked onion is like... Baked onion and bell peppers. I don't know. I, I don't want to know. I just want to enjoy it. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah.
Imagine this with a beer. I got nothing left to say. Mm. There's nothing to say. No. 